jacket. Thank you. Yeah, this is, uh, what is it, Maison Martin Margiela? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Thank I'm so happy you. to be here. Yeah, so I won't real, let me do a photo at the end, but uh, yeah, so can you tell me about the casting process? Like, how did you guys become involved? Like, I mean... Uh, for me, I got the script. I, I had a meeting with Mark. It was so exciting. He right. said, "Who? Which? Which maid do you gravitate towards?" And right. I didn't even hesitate. For me, it was always Marisol, the oh. character that I, I ended love the way you say her name. I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Marisol. And uh, so, so you know, when I got to talk to him about her and mm -hmm. and what it would be, and we get to reread together mm -hmm. and his notes on her, um, I just was like. Where do I sign? Where do I sign? Yeah. Of course. And for me, um, I had met Mark uh, after all my children had been taken off the air. I, I had a meeting with Mark, mm -hmm. and there had been a lot online actually uh, suggesting that I was going to go on to Desperate Housewives. And I, it wasn't coming from me, and um, I found out it wasn't coming from Mark. Mark. Right. <laughs> so it was largely fan-driven, which is also a wonderful thing. That exactly. They, they hoped I would go to Desperate Housewives. Yeah. Um, but Mark said that actually um, that show um, was finished being right. written, and that he had a new show in mind uh -huh. uh, and uh, called Devious Maids. Oh. And um, he would, uh, you know, like, like me to come in for that. Yeah. And uh, he remembered, you know. Oh. And so when, when he was casting, then he, I got a call asking if I would... Uh, come and audition for the part of, uh, well, they didn't tell me how he was going to pronounce it, you know, it was just, I just read, yeah, and I didn't know if he would say Genevieve or Genevieve, yeah. when I met him for the audition, exactly. and that under the bed scene, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that, awesome. that, that was her, my audition like, scene, laughing. and I loved it at home in New York, reading it, I was hysterical and loved it, and um, went and auditioned and had the best time, and the first thing he said to me was, well, you know, I think the Genevieve is such and such. And I thought, oh, Mark Cherry, you're calling her Jean Via. Thank you. Yes, that's, that's how it's I love who this is. Yes. yes. Can you get over how funny Susan Lucas? I could not love my favorite line in the what well, came in episode two where you were just consoling was it Valentina? Oh my god, I died laughing. That line where you were just saying, Well, since there are no old people in here, I'm like, <laughs> Oh, I can't I, stop laughing. I am so excited I, for I that reason alone. I I had to text Ginger <laughs> right after I, I saw that line. I, I just think, I think I really uh, I think people mm -hmm. are going to be so um, Surprise is the wrong word, but I just think yeah. it's going to be such a revelation to see this incredible dramatic actress that we've all loved right. for so long, who just brings these, you know, incredible incredible dramas to life. Right. And here she is being hilariously yes. funny. Hands down. Oh, hilariously oh funny. But still with that heart. and yeah. Still with that, you know, yeah. oh, groundedness. Like, well, the, like like you're saying, there's so much heart in her character. There's a lot of duality in your role, right? I know with you, you're very calm, cool, collective, very observant. And then we learn there's this deep, dark secret that you're harboring. Yeah. And then there's a dinner party scene where you just step it up and you just become this total bitch. And it was amazing. <laughs> I, I love it. it. I love it. I love it. It was so good. And, and then with Jean Vieve, I mean, she's, you know, she's presented to us as this character. She's very, you know, self-absorbed, very age up obsessed, we're youth obsessed, and then suddenly, um, you know, when Valentina comes to her to be consoled, about just, she, we realize she's in love with your son, mm -hmm. you become this very nurturing, sweet, genuine, motherly type character. Like, what, what do you, what draws you to these characters? What makes it so interesting for you? Like, what? Well, it's like, thank you, Mark Cherry, for writing right. these really, really complex, wonderful women that we all are in real life, right. you know, and thank you for being able to do it succinctly and, and and do it so wonderfully with so many women and so many different characters. I mean, right. no, one character is not like the other. No. So, I, I mean, I think all credit due to Mark Cherry for really sort of, it's like we said, it's, it's on the page. It's on the page. You know, the, these, and if we ever have questions, you know, because we're creating these characters, mm -hmm. we're doing it all together, you know, mm -hmm. and Mark mm -hmm. will sit there and he'll talk to you for an hour about your character if mm -hmm. you have a question. Mm -hmm. So, and um, he's present, he's on, on set, yeah. yeah, and he's watching, he has such a vision, yeah. and, uh, it's coming from such a good place in him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after he sees rehearsal, um, he he will give a little note, you know, mm -hmm. just to tweak it a certain way. And it's mm -hmm. always brilliant. It's always mm -hmm. exactly right on mm -hmm. the money and helps so much. So it's very much an ensemble yeah. all mm -hmm. the way around. The ensemble. This, I mean, and also I think the fact that the cast that he brought together is so phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're Solid. in a scene mm -hmm. with... Rebecca Wasaki, Tom Irwin, mm -hmm. you know, you, the bar is high, you, you know, so Judy Reyes, you oh, know, absolutely. it's like, hello, hello, hello. So yeah, you, you, the bar is high and you gotta, you gotta yeah, get up, get with it. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's one, okay, there's one line Judy Reyes' character, uh, was, you know, she's, she's talking so to I her love. daughter. Exactly. Uh -huh. and she was telling, um, she was telling, Valentina. talking to Valentina about how, you know, well, the rich kid will never fall in love with mm. the, um, 
uh, you know, with, with the help. And there's this interesting aspect of the show. It's like, it's like a, it, I mean, it's very funny, obviously, but on a deeper level, it's sort of like a study of class relations. Absolutely. Like, how true do you think that statement is that Judy says about, you know, the, you know, the rich will never well, fall? Well, yeah. uh, Judy's character, Zoila, is speaking from her personal experience. Mm -hmm. That was her yeah. personal experience. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, the, the actual experience might not have been because it was a class distinction. It may simply have been because mm. the wealthy man mm. in the house legitimately fell in love with somebody else. Right, right. But this was Zoila's take on it, and she wants to protect her daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not have to go through that heartbreak. I think what's so wonderful about the mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. is that you know, you see these incredible Beverly Hills mansions mm -hmm. and you see these glamorous lives and you get to peek inside these lives and see mm -hmm. that that's so much more complex mm -hmm. than this sort of, you know... And, and not the perfection necessarily mm -hmm. that you imagine. Exactly. And it's also that you get to see it through the maid's eyes a lot of times. You Who know, know everything. Who exactly. know everything. Exactly. So I think it, it, it is a... There is definitely a, a, um, an acknowledgement of of that class difference, mm. but to Mark's credit, he's made it so much more about these characters and their lives and their relationships with one another, mm -hmm. uh, so much more so than than just making it this sort of, you know, comment on, on a class. The thing is that we are all so complex. Mm. We're not just, you know, like, oh, thank you, senor, I'm on the floor. And they're not just, <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're not just like, oh, pass me a martini, you know? So, <laughs> can I clean the floor with an $100 bill? Yeah. You know, so, so, so you get to see, you know, I guess the comment, I guess the comment is that, that the, as as far apart as we are, we are all still very similar, right. you know, and we are all still um, a, a, a very we we all have so much more in common than I think we we realize. Oh, I agree. Like, how uh, have you seen the original Mexican version of this series? Like, yeah. How different is this the, the American adaptation? Very different. Very different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. It's well, you know, novella novellas have a beginning, middle, and end. They yeah. they don't they don't go on and on and on like an American soap. Right. Right. Um. So so they wrap things up a lot quicker, and you know, novellas are are very over the top and very dramatic. I don't think that that necessarily would play here. And Mark has really brought all of the elements of the novella mm -hmm. and that pushing the envelope and that dramaticness mm -hmm. and really uh, fine-tuned it into this, you know, really unique, wonderful show. Mm -hmm. um, but but that, that, that principle is there. We can mm -hmm. push the envelope because we are... We, we do have that novella vibe to us. And it, and it is unique. This show oh, is unique. I have to say it has such a fresh look mm -hmm. and a fresh sound mm -hmm. and feel uh, that I haven't seen this before. So it's based on a, on a novella in yeah. the best sense of the word, mm -hmm. um, but it's brought to fruition in the best possible way absolutely. in the hands of Mark Cherry. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. He's wonderful. And Lifetime, I have to say that mm -hmm. Lifetime really is behind us so much. And they, they've, been, they've been warm and vocal yeah. and, and communicating. On, and present, that. they're mm -hmm. there. They're, they're, yeah, really, really, they're so excited about the show. It just makes you feel so good. Yeah, it's about, about time they came to Canada. That's my, you know, yeah. I've been waiting so long. <laughs> um, now, one last question. One. Yeah, one last question. So, like, I mean, well, obviously, I know, and you're, you're a mother of two young children. Yes. And, and you're, I, no one you're would ever believe it, Susan, <laughs> but you have grandchildren. I would never believe it. <laughs> no, no I'm kidding. But, but like, how do you balance it all? You know, now that your career is thriving again, you're, you're very, very busy now promoting, mm -hmm. and you've, you've got this new series, which I think is going to be really hot. How, how do you balance Balance at all? It's not easy, but it's we not do a lot it. of sleep. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, women have been doing this for centuries. Yeah. Not necessarily being on TV, but it's just what we do. It's what we do. It's just what we do. And I will say, Susan said something earlier today that really, really struck home, and I meant to say something to you about it. The the fact that you had those women helping you, you know, you had, and that enabled you to be a working mom and to be everything to uh, you know I have a daughter and it's so important for me that she sees me working and happy because it's when I'm so happy is when I'm working and doing exactly. what I love exactly. and fulfilling my dreams and going after my passion and so because I have this wonderful woman who's helping me um, I'm able to do that you know and the, the, the it just ties into the devious maze because there's so much more to someone who's cleaning your house or, mm. you know, helping you with your children. There's such a, a special relationship, and I think that Mark has really been able to, to really finesse that and bring it to life. 
Absolutely mm -hmm. true. I know that I could never have done what I did uh, without the incredible, warm, <coughs> smart help of, of Frida, mm -hmm. who um, was a Ger is German. She's still with me. She's been with me for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's only one other person aside from me who got a full page in my book, and that was Frida. <laughs> <laughs> and your daughter is a, is a working mom, too. She my started her own baby she, business. Yes, yeah, she's oh had gosh. four babies in six years. Oh, my gosh. She has um, a 15-week-old baby and yeah. a little girl who just turned two, oh, a four-year-old boy and a six-year-old boy. And she started a business a year and a half ago that is thriving. Yeah. And and look, everybody has to do their own thing, but that's that's what it is, you know, yeah. that, that you do what makes you joyful, that mm -hmm. you right. do what makes you happy. Yeah, and it'll and fall then into you, place. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Great. Can we get a couple photos maybe? Yeah, sure. Okay. I like the camera. Thank you. Oh, it's got this crazy zoom. It's excellent for concerts because you can sort of sneak it in. Middle. Oh, me in the middle. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. Oh wait, I might, <laughs> but I don't need to do that, do I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take a couple. There's one. Oh, that's a great one. There's a second. Yeah, perfect. Okay, thank you so much, and all the best with the series. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you.